Good morning, folks. Welcome to another chip break. Lots going on. It's awesome. Uh, this is going to be my last reminder, though. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday, July 23rd, Tormach Open House. Super excited. Some great classes and fixturing, work holding, tooling, chance to see the machines. I'm going to be there. Uh, some other cool people are going to be there. So info in the video description with a link to sign up. I uh, would love to meet some of you folks there. Looking forward to it. We bought four new machines uh, actually all used machines but i knew i thought i knew a guy in town who had a factory with a horizontal mill and i had reason to think i, I knew the fellow growing up a little and i didn't think they used them anymore and i saw him and i said hey would you mind i'm just curious you know if you guys don't use it would you consider selling it and long story short uh we struck a deal so uh here's some footage of it uh it is a clausing 17 inch lathe with 80 inches between center so I'm gonna call it a big lathe. I'm sure there are bigger ones, but I'm actually really excited for this. We've done some short work uh, where I've wanted to have a really big through bore. This is, I think, a three inch and change. Um, and there's some longer work, some shafting work, which is just, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, I really think, you know, I've been kind of thinking long-term about how to round my shop out to be able to do projects, um, any sort of project. And the combination of this stuff and the size of it, it was a good deal. The other thing is I haven't had a chance to go through all the stuff. I'm pretty sure it's in pretty good condition. I also believe it was mostly used by one guy as a sort of, that's a, it's sort of like a support, but it wasn't a machine shop, it was a factory and they made some of their own stuff. But having one guy run that machine for a long time is a really good thing. Um, also a radial arm drill, uh, really excited for that. A The horizontal mill and which honestly, I will use it alone just for doing precision holes and work on the end of long parts. That alone is enough to justify it. Um, and we also got a smaller bridge port, which I'm mostly excited for because it's a pulley machine and we want to kind of finish our bridge port power drawbar kit. It works right now on variable speed heads, but I've got an idea for an adapter plate that'll work on both uh, variables as well as your typical pulley head. Um, so here's some footage of those machines. I'm actually going down uh, today to, with some pallets just to pick up. There's lots of tooling, drill bits, um, lathe chucks, three jaw, four jaw, face plates, all that stuff. Super excited. Um, I'm also learning some stuff about rigging. We've gotten quotes from um, hundreds to thousands. And so big difference between those two. Um, I wanna do it safe, I wanna do it smart, but I'm also, uh, you know, I'm not gonna pay. Some of the prices were, were in my opinion, ridiculous. Um, so yeah, super excited. On that note, I've actually had uh, dug out my metalworking sink or swim boat because I remember Tom Lipton had talked about these skate for dollies and I'm really excited. I wanna make some of these um, because the machines that we're about to buy need a lot of cleaning up. So I don't think they're gonna get placed in their final location right now. So having these means I could use a toe jack, lift one up, put the machine on it and move it around a little. Um, I'm gonna change the design though a little uh, because I like the idea of using these cam followers. They have a dynamic load of 2,200 pounds per, so I can put uh, four of them on one plate, and that's a dynamic load of 8,000 pounds. Obviously, you'll have many per machine, so I think that's gonna be plenty rugged for anything we're gonna do. Uh, we'll do a little video when they come in to see how they work, uh, but thank you, Tom. Th that book this is a great book. You guys should, should own a copy of this book, in my opinion. Um, Keith Fenner sent us a package. We're gonna do a little project together. Um, actually, before we get into this project, we're gonna open it right now. 
I um, have been, uh, I really hate doing this. I've been, I normally don't stall on projects, but for a variety of not good excuses, it's been a long time since we started this and we haven't finished it. So the Porsche 930 turbo fuel cap is getting finished next week. Um, this one works, except I wasn't happy with the 3D uh, work there. So I've got some cam ideas to fix that up. And then we're gonna just finish this project on video next week. Super excited for that. Uh, but on that note, on Porsches, let's open Keith's package here. I just saw, here's a link to um, Keith's video. He did a very good job packaging it, which is always nice. Let's see. Okay. Looks like we got some swag. Thank you for the stickers. <laughs> here's what's funny no joke, when I opened up my we keep this copy in the shop. I've got one at home as well. <laughs> Look at my bookmark. <laughs> okay, so looks like that's probably one of the gauges. Um, I don't have, it's gonna be awkward to open this stuff on um, camera here. And that's the actual part itself. Then it looks like there's a note. Oh, a drill drawing down there. So awesome. Thank you for saying that over, Keith. Um, I actually need to talk to Keith. I don't even remember what the project is here. I think it's just modeling it up in Fusion. Um, I think Keith's gonna machine it on his machines, maybe the X-Car, um, but we'll see. I'm not sure if he wants to, us to make anything, a fixture for it or whatever, but we'll have fun either way. So videos to come on that. Um, we have our ticket boards up. I think I mentioned one of these before. We added two more. I freaking love them, folks. Um, it is awesome. This is mostly for the YouTube side of the business. So all these projects, I used to track them in Excel and it's still fine for like the long-term, like just idea list, but those are actionable projects. And it's awesome to be able to walk up, write a note on it, pull it down, move it over. It's just like, it is perfect. I'm super excited about that. Um, we're also starting, just got our account set up with Trello. Trello seems to be like the absolute go-to solution for more big term project management. So for the job shop stuff with other people. Um, so we'll let you know how that goes. Accounting update. I met with an accountant, uh, appreciate it. Um, learned a lot. And the, the truth is it doesn't make sense to outsource it yet. What does make sense is for me to stop being a cheapskate and pay Chase the 10 bucks a month to do direct connect. That'll let me automatically import my transactions. Then I don't have to go onto the website, download them, import them, etc. And I think I'm going to try doing that every maybe every day, maybe every two days, because doing our accounting that way, will it'll take five minutes. The transactions will be fresher in my head, so I'll be able to document them better and get really get a better handle. Um, the truth is we do well, and it's easy to ignore. You know, I don't know some of the nuances because I don't cost things out. Was that material for YouTube? Was it for a job? Was it for uh, R&D? And I do, I do want to set the systems in place, so as we grow, that stuff's better. So I'm um, excited for that. And I'll end with, um, I need to get this fuel cap done and some other little projects, but the first one I'm really, 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 really excited for is our clamp handle. So we need to engrave like 600 of these. I don't want to sit there and put one, each one into a fixture. We are going to try this. I downloaded the 440 uh, CAD model, which is freaking awesome. And the idea is this plate here will be mounted to the table it'll be supported back here and there'll be a stack of the clamps in this base piece here so they'll be stacked up this way and as this thing rotates oops it will pick one up right here it'll rotate around it'll pause it'll do the engraving and then as it rotates around to here it will drop one through come back to here and pick another one up so this is what I love. It's a machine, it's fabrication, it's kind of projects design. It's gonna be stepper, I think I'm gonna use a stepper motor. Uh, we're gonna have an interface with PathPilot to when to do the start stop and the indexing. We'll have some safety checks in there. Uh, Arduino, obviously, so super excited. Um, we'll probably need some help. So we're gonna do a formal video on the design rationale and walking through everything, but just wanted to give you guys a little teaser. Uh, as always, thanks, thanks for supporting and watching. Take care, see you soon.